Now joining us from our Brisbane studio, journalist and managing director of Adoni Media, Lisa Goddard. Welcome, uh, Lisa. Great to see you tonight. Uh, let's get stuck into this. And hey, of Gleason. course, the big news is uh, the lockdown, the five-day snap lockdown in Victoria. And of course, mm -hmm. most of the major newspapers have gone with this, including the Australian Premier, locked and loaded for relief battle. That's the headline on the front page of uh, the nation's uh, uh, number one newspaper. And of course, I refer to the Australian uh, and uh, the first part says, Daniel Andrews has locked down 6.7 million Victorians after the state's COVID-19 outbreak reached 18 cases, declaring you only get one chance to go hard and go fast and demanding immediate federal assistance for affected businesses and workers. The Victorian government's uh, announcement of a hard five-day lockdown from uh, midnight tonight, so in about uh, uh, 58 minutes... The state's fifth since the pandemic began 18 months ago means almost 12 million Australians are subject to stay-at-home orders, with Sydney facing at least another two weeks of restrictions. This is getting very real, Lisa, right now, isn't it? You've got 10 million people across this country who will be under these strict lockdown conditions, as you say, within the hour. It is just unbelievable that we are back in this situation. And I think... We'll go through all of these front pages tonight, but what's been sticking with me is when you listen to Talkback Radio and you listen to the programs and the, the people that we've been, people who've been interviewing across Sky tonight, the real people who are now going to have to not miss out on funerals or aren't going to be able to say, um, to, to visit a relative who's, who's sick and particularly and, and maybe dying or having and their businesses close their doors yet again and try and work out how they're going to pay staff, how they're going to retain staff. It, it is just a diabolical situation that we find ourselves in and it's all being driven by this fear. I watched all of those press conferences today and I know it was rumoured from about lunchtime that Victoria would go into lockdown, but as soon as you saw Prime Minister Scott Morrison walk out to that press conference today, he looked almost rattled, which is quite unusual for him. Mm. I think from that point on it was like, we're in trouble. The Herald Sun splash lockdown 5.0. Melbournians enter. How's this for a figure, Lisa? 174th day locked in homes. The state shut down until Wednesday and fears that the MCG Delta outbreak could escalate. Victorians have been plunging into an unprecedented fifth lockdown with uh, 10 million Australians now confined to their homes as authorities battle devastating outbreaks across two states. Uh, uh, we might go to the financial review as well, guys. Uh, uh, it also mm. encapsulates exactly where we're at. Uh, Victoria locks down again. Morrison orders another lift in crisis aid income and business support to be paid sooner. The Morrison government has overhauled income and business assistance measures for the third time in six weeks as the entire state of Victoria uh, joined Greater Sydney and plunged into lockdown for five days. I've got to say, Lisa, you know I've been talking on this show uh, for about 18 months about this uh, particular pandemic, and I get a sense mm. that, uh, you know, I always knew that this was going to be a roller coaster, that this was not going to be an easy one to, uh, to, to deal with, but I just feel so sorry, so sorry for the good folk, the good burgers of, uh, of Melbourne in particular, and those that are trying to run a business, particularly a small business. I mean, it just must be heartbreaking to see this latest lockdown. Yeah, I, I was listening to a woman who owns a cafe in Victoria. So she said she'd held out her the time. She was starting to get people putting in orders for catering again. And her, her deadline for today to put the order in for tomorrow, which was going to be thousands of dollars worth of worth food, was four o'clock. And she waited and she waited. Now, we saw Daniel Andrews come out and hold that press conference at 4.50 this afternoon. Now, there were some very valid points raised by the opposition. One... All of the school kids had gone home for the day. So all of their books, everything that they, they may need, are now locked in the classrooms. You've got workers may have already left the offices without bosses being able to say, you know, we're now going to have to move to a work-from-home situation. You've got Daniel Andrews saying this is a strict lockdown. He's created the list of who can work and who can't, which is very different to what Gladys Berejiklian is doing in New South Wales, and we'll get to that later on. But... It, it's absolutely about people's health and absolutely about people taking this seriously, being vaccinated so we can get back on a track of, you know, returning to some sort of normal. But 
you can't help but think and see how clearly this is being politicised now. Like, there really has been... As much as Daniel Andrews stepped back today and the, and the journos were pushing him to try to make him in, get involved in that blame game, he didn't come out directly and attack Gladys Berejiklian. But there were certainly some snide, you know, comments along the way of, you know, you have to come out, go hard, go fast, otherwise, instead of five days, it could be five weeks or five months. Hmm. And we've seen hmm. Gladys Berejiklian now have to extend hers to five weeks. So you can't say that to me that, that wasn't a barb across the border.